Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect up a Wiimote, so a Wii remote, to your Linux machine. I'm using Ubuntu, you can use any distro that you want, and so you can use it on the EPSXE emulator and emulate PlayStation 1 games. So, let me show you the controller. You should see the controller you know, appearing in the video right now. I've got it right here. The nunchuck doesn't work on epsxe so you're stuck with this you know you are you know you do have limited functionality but you know it still works so the first thing you want to do is open up the bluetooth settings and if you're using a distant different distro or different version you know open them up however you know you need to you know, feel free to ask me if you need any help next what you want to do is flip this lid off and see this little red button here if you press that these leds will start flashing you put into pair mode there we go and as you can see the controller has now appeared in here nintendo rvl click that that says connected and this nest just is highlighted as led one which is great so i can actually close that and that's it that's all we need to do to actually get it hooked up now we just need to do a bit of configuration in epsxe so go to config and gamepad port one and this is going to be heavily specific to the way that you want to be able to play it so you can map it so the controls are better you know this way or that way i want to do it this way and let's have a look so we'll do the arrows first Yes, it's saying right because obviously that's technically the right button, but you know the way I've got it oriented, that's the way I want it. So this should be up, this should be left. Nope, don't want that. I was hoping that I could just tab to the next one, just be a little easier, but I guess not. And let's do start and select. So I'll do minus and select, and I'll do plus for start. Okay, so now let's have a look at these. So again, you know, we're very limited with the amount of keys, you know, buttons that we have. So it will depend on what game you're playing as well. So now I'm gonna test Crash Bandicoot now. We need triangle. And I'll, cause it's not as important, I'll do triangle as this back button right here. I'll need a circle or square, either one in the first Crash Bandicoot, they do the exact same functionality. So yeah, I'll, I'll do this one as circle. Do this as x and everything else can just leave it because uh, we do have some extra keys that we haven't mapped yet a and home so we could potentially use them for you know the shoulder button potentially but again we don't have you know enough buttons to fully map it so now let's quickly run an iso go to open and f3 <laughs> Okay, just turn the volume off just so it's easy for you to hear me. So I oh, this needs a bit of a clean to be fair. It's in a case, so it's been a little while. Okay, yeah, so I pressed F3, which just loaded a state that I already had. And let's get into the game and show you it fully working. There we go. So there we go right there. We can play Crash Bandicoot. I think this is pretty darn radical to be able to play Crash Bandicoot on your Linux machine using an emulator and you are playing it with a Wii remote. It's just like so many different crazy things. This is the reason I love the PC community. It's because cool epic awesome stuff like this okay so i'll play a bit a little bit longer why not you know you can end the video right here if you're not interested in watching me play from a bit of crash bandicoot one of my favorite games but if you do want to watch me play then you know sit back and enjoy the show Oh, here we go, here we go, three, three Aku Aku masks, and boom, 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 de boom, de boom. I will come back and get any box that I miss. My main concern is to be able to get to this stage 
jump on top of these and there we go I'll just go back there are two boxes on this side that I need to get after this little jump there'll be a turtle that I need to destroy and okay so there's two boxes on this here Ah, I got that box here and I remember getting these boxes but a little check is always good remember it's always to, good to do a check make sure I've got these boxes which is one in the middle then forget that it's at the edges that's an easy fix just go to whichever edge it is and just jump on it or even you know just spin it by standing on the actual ground might be able to spin it but we don't have that issue so we're all good to go I'm going to turn the volume up because because I've got all the boxes I'm going to unlock the gem and it's going to say da 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 oh yeah love this game so that's it that's how you set up a Wii remote one of these right here up to your Linux machine it could be any distribution you want and use it on the EPSFC emulator. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.